Not this is how I was looking just a second ago. Uh oh. Girl, number one, get these cookies from Trader Joe's and eat them fast because they will start feeling soft once air gets into the little bag that it's in. Unless you close it real tight, it's gonna taste different. It won't taste different, but it'll feel different. Okay, let's eat some lunch. My toilet keeps running. I hate that sound. You know the sound after you flush the toilet, like, and then it's just like the water's kind of running a little bit and then it stops? Mine continuously runs. And that shit's fucking annoying me. And I already called maintenance about it and he came and fiddled around with it and fixed it, but it's still doing it. Actually, don't want to throw these all away. Woo! I love broccoli. I love broccolini. But the smell, it emits. Good God. It's just a little bit of broccolini in this trash can. And it smells like straight shit. Like, God damn. What I'm doing is cutting all of the dead flowers off. And the flowers that are like about to die. There's still a few on here that's thriving and there's one that hasn't even bloomed yet. So I don't want to throw it away. I'm going to just let these live with my new lilies that I have. Actually, I'll let it live with the old lilies. I've been watching the morning show every single day. I just started maybe like last week and now I'm obsessed. I'm getting caught up I'm on the new season now and it's just a good ass show. It's well written and great acting. These are still in pretty good condition. These were in my bedroom. All right. So I'm walking with the flowers and I have my headphones in, but I see this white guy come up right next to me. But he's like, I was like, oh, it's not my anniversary. He was like, it's not? I said, no. He was like, is it a party? I said, no. He said, wait, don't tell me you might Miley Cyrus that. I said, party? At this point, I pulled my headphone out like, what are you saying? I said, what is it? He said, don't tell me you Miley Cyrus did. And I was like, I don't know what that means. And he was like, I can buy myself flowers. I said, to he he. Yeah, I guess I Miley Cyrus did. Yeah, I bought these for myself. He's like, what? Well, I'm gonna buy you some flowers, girlfriend. I said, oh, it's already covered, but thank you. He was like, oh, but it's so much better when someone else gets you flowers. At this point, I put my headphone back in, so he's kind of just talking to himself, I can hear him still. And he was like, yeah. I'm on the way home. I said, just start talking like, girl, I don't care where you going. Go ahead. Please, when I tell y'all don't give a damn. And he kept talking, so I had to take my headphone out and say, my headphone's in. Something's playing. I can't hear you. Let me take this out real quick. What did you say? Like, let me make it known that I'm doing something and you're interrupting it. The hell? And stop talking to me. Good and well, just, just go. Just be talking. Meanwhile, I saw this dude that I saw actually like a few days ago while I was on my walk. And he don't never say nothing. So I'm like, you better have a girlfriend since you don't like to speak. That better, that better be the reason. Cause don't let him like hop in my DMs or something talking about, I've seen you walking. And I just don't know, like, I don't like stuff like that. that that's unattractive to me. You've seen me multiple times. And you let me pass you by, you're not running. Unless I could tell you like actually you're nervous and it's just like the timing wasn't right. Or I think about what role I played in it. Like did I give you a welcoming type vibe? Cause I get guys like not wanting to disturb our personal time. You know, when you're working out, walking, whatever, like that's your personal time. And guys with common sense, they know like, to be aware of whether or not they're intruding on your personal time. So like, sometimes I'll let it slide, like a guy being like, I saw you, but I didn't say anything, da, 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 I'll let it slide. But if I see you multiple times and you never say anything, and that's your excuse, 
Just go. I feel like I know that I have dealt with men who were just committed to believing that I was a certain type of woman, like the kind of woman that you can't tell nothing to, simply because I challenged them when they did some fuck shit. And a lot of people aren't used to that. It doesn't happen to them at work, it doesn't happen to them with their friends. Like, people are used to being able to be assholes and nobody checking that. Me, I'm checking it immediately because I don't ever want us to get into the rhythm of you thinking that you can talk to me any type of way or that I'll allow you to make me feel any other way other than what I want to feel like. So when I had to you know, stand up for myself or call out some ugly shit, it really does take certain people by surprise. Like, and they don't even know how to react and respond to it because for them it's just like i'm giving them attitude but for me it's like i'm standing up for myself you ain't about to be talking to me crazy i'm gonna make myself a nice little lunch eat and relax girls showing you my outfit because i feel like you cute okay i'm on the way to the beauty supply store because i just want to see but I just want to see what other hair I can get. Like, I got a whole bunch of ponytails. So, I have this one, which I picture myself like kind of brushing it out. It's 14 inches. So, it'll be a pretty big ponytail. But I want even bigger than that. I was thinking about getting two of those. So, I got, hold on, because I had another one like that. I have this, this Bohemian Fro which I might pair with it. We'll see, or I'll wear that by itself. That's just like a big fro. Then I have, oh yeah, I did get two of those. Okay, I knew I wasn't tripping. This is another 14 inch bohemian ponytail. One of them is in the color 1B and the other one is in the color two. I will wear those two together to make a really big ponytail. Tease some of it, brush it out, all that. But also, all these are drawstring ponytails. This one, the natural loose wave ponytail. And this is another loose type ponytail. This is if I decide to blow my hair out and I want that look. And I wanna do more of a straight ponytail instead of a natural hair ponytail. So this is all for a wedding. I haven't decided what my final look is. I need to put jewelry on. Yeah. Haven't decided what my final look is yet, but I know I wanna be looking good. Oh, so let me show you. I got these pants on sale at Levi's. These are the pants. Cute, bell bottomed out. And I was just like, oh, I'll buy these. Oh, I also got this. So I got this jumbo hair bun because I was also considering doing like an old school sock bun with like some added hair. It's so big though that I might get a smaller version of this. Like they have one that's like, three inches, this is five and a half inches, this is really big. And so, I might do a smaller one. But this is, I would want this size, like this kind of size. I just don't know how to get all the hair through this. I don't know, but I will figure it out. Anyway, so this is also an option. So, I decided I'm just gonna do my hair myself. Because the thing is, is that I just don't, I can't put a lot of faith in somebody doing my hair for the first time, like, I just can't. I. I just can't. So I'd rather be annoyed with myself about my hair being messed up than Ubering to somebody, all that, waiting for them, having to be on other people's time, like all that type shit. It's just like, if I'm gonna do that, I need to know that the person's going to do my hair properly. I do not have time to waste and I'm not trying to look bad, just wit. So I'm really going for like a princess vibe for my look. Oh, I think that's my ride. And it is. Okay, I'll see you girls later. Bye. You stand here while I edges. I love this for my edges. The um the uh what is it called? Moose Moose Death from um Do. When I tell you life is lifing, it's actually lifing. And like not in a bad way, just in the way that it's weighing. 
Life is doing whatever the fuck it wants to do right now. And I'm just kind of like, okay, girl, okay, girl. Like, you ain't got to jump me. Like, I get it, I get it. Let me move you over here. So one of the personal things I'm trying to work on, specifically this week, is to drink more water. So I'm not leaving my house without my big water jug like this. This typically stays in the house, but I'm gonna be taking it with me today because I really want to stay on top of my water, period. So that's number one. And then number two is getting rest. I don't know why I like to be up until three in the morning, but lately that's what I've been doing, just up. And it don't make no sense, it really don't. It really damn dumb. So I'm gonna cut up some cucumbers because part of the reason why I feel like I haven't been drinking enough water is because it tastes like nothing. And I just, it's, un, it's uninspiring. Like, give me something. Like, give me something, girl. Also, I'm gonna take my watermelon. That's another thing I've been tearing up is watermelon. Um, My makeup look good, don't it? Makeup is sitting. I'm sure somebody will ask. This top I got over 10 years ago at Goodwill. It's Ann Taylor, but it's old. And again, I thrifted it, okay? And I'm just taking my cute little bag. Where did I, oh, it's right there. There's stuff I need to return. And where is that? Yes. Could do that right now, because I do kind of have, dang, I do got to do it right now. I got shit to do. Okay, number one, I just really just wanna show you this cute jumpsuit that I got from Zara. Um, comes all the way down to the bottom. Bell bottoms out, very long. If I was wearing this at the nighttime event, I'd have this unbutton one more and I'd do a double stick tape and just have titties down the middle. But I'm actually wearing a nursing bra. So I won't even, where's my phone? It's too much going on, girl. Where did I put my cellular device? I just need everything to act right. All right, yeah, I gotta go run to the store. Man, these last couple of days, like these last days until my friend's wedding, it's so like, I didn't realize being in a wedding would be such an intense situation, but it's very intense. Wouldn't trade it for the world, but yeah, it's death intense, death. Give me my money back. I went ahead and returned this dress that I got from House of CB. That was too big because my dress for the wedding is a medium, but I got a size large because the medium fits the top great. But what it does on my ass, okay? I could barely sit down. So I was like, let me order this large and just see. But the large was too big. So, yeah. All right, we're gonna return this. All right, girls, I will see you. Shortly. Bye. I have run all the errands I can run. We're done today. Tomorrow I have to get up early because we have to get our henna applied in the morning. I went to go and pick up a package that just came in. I got some new glasses. I wanted a fresh pair of frames for the wedding. They're literally the same ones that I have on now. Anyway, I've had a long ass day. I'm about to shut it down. Okay. Bye, girls. Okay, good morning. Fun fact, I'm the friend that parents love. That's such a random fact, but hey, I was just thinking about, I'm gonna be going to my friend's house today, and I was just thinking about all the other friend's houses that I've been to and meeting their families and stuff, and yeah, it's always the same vibe of just like, we love Kennedy. And yeah, I guess you can say I'm just lovable. Why are you looking over there looking stupid? Trying to figure something out, ain't shit to figure out. Am I keeping these on or is it giving girl? It's definitely giving girl. Like, gir girl, girl, girl. Okay, like we get it, like. Bring it down. I'm changing these socks. Socks are stupid as hell. Change these socks. See, I wish I had like a cute Wales Bonner Adidas. I just wish. I wish I had a Wales Bonner Adidas, but I don't. Another thing, I love good socks. Like it's such a random thing, but a good sock gives me a good day. When my foot feels like it is wrapped, okay, around a nice quality thick fabric. Like I don't like when my sock is thin and tight. I don't like that look on my foot. I like thick and I like a nice full sock, not even a footy. 
but I will wear a footie when necessary. But like, I prefer a nice full sock. It just makes me feel cozy. Okay, hold on a second. Mm -mm. Oi. I only recently started using this mousse as my edge layer, but I really do like it for my edges because it actually holds them down really good. And I still like my Orbe gel too. Don't get it twisted. But this has been a nice little switch up. You know what lays edges down real good too? Using a fine tooth comb. Yup. One thing about me, I hate leaving my house without boo-booing first. Like, cause I, I'm not gonna boo-boo anywhere else. So, I got to do that before I go. So I make sure I walk around, drink a little bit of water, like that stuff gets things moving. Kenny, Kenny, why are you telling us about your boo-boo? Why wouldn't I tell you about my boo-boo? That's the better question. Like, let's talk Y'all need to be going to the bathroom every damn day. I had a friend tell me one time that they go to the bathroom once a week. I started sending them links to the doctor. Come on now. Oh man, right. I will see y'all when I come back home. Number one, is anybody else's allergies acting crazy this year? I feel like mine's are going Hamilton. And I didn't always used to have allergies. Like, this is some new shit. Like, I, I feel like I used to react to pollen, but not like full blown, bitch, I got allergies reaction. Okay, I'm about to try something right now. This is my one of the parts to my steamer. Well, it's the part to the steamer that holds the water. And the inside looks like there's black stuff in there. That could be mold, it could be dust, it could be something. But I know I don't want it on my clothes, whatever it is. So I'm taking some cleaning vinegar. I'm gonna pour that in here a little bit, okay? I feel like that's a good amount. I don't know how much that was, but I have some boiling water I'm about to pour into this. And since the water gets boiling hot when you steam, I feel like it should be fine. What's the best way to do this? It's a little hot, obviously. Oh, I'm not supposed to get my hands wet. We got our henna today. It's gonna darken up. Love it. So nice. And I'm just gonna shake this up to try to shake up some of that dirt that's in here. The only thing is that I can't really see in here to see. I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit. Oh, but I think I did it. Yeah, it's not, I already can see. It's not as black as it was. But I'm gonna let this sit for a second. So I gotta do a lot of steaming this weekend. Steaming my dress. I'm also gonna have to let the steamer run because I don't want my clothes to smell like vinegar. What else is going on? Tomorrow we have rehearsal. Actually, let me pour this out because I really don't want it to smell like vinegar. Oh, it's still gross in there. I can't tell if that's dust or if that's mold. I don't know. One thing about me, I'm the type of girl when it comes to guys, if you don't respond to my text immediately or within the hour, you are dead to me. I don't wanna talk no more. Conversation's over with. I don't care about your response. You're done. <laughs> Obviously, y'all, I'll, I'll, I'll be a bit more bendable with the rules if you're a fine ass nigga. But if you an average ass Joe, and this is me trying to give you a chance, baby, consider yourself a stranger. You will no longer have access to me. <laughs> yeah, so thinking about going live because I feel talkative. Also, I think this nigga trying to, um, trying to make a point right now by not texting me back quickly. Because I'll tell you one thing, you ain't got to worry about me. Fuck you. Wow, there really was a time where I did not leave my house without makeup. Like, I refused. And now I be... Just out and about, just out and a damn about. I'm practicing my wedding hair. Since this is just a practice, you can't really like see fully what it's gonna give because I don't have everything like as tight as I normally would. Hold on, chill out. I don't even have a lot of time to talk. Actually, I have no time because my Uber is about to be here. So I gotta go, but I wanted you to see me. How beautiful. Gorgeous, right? Yes. yes. My house is a mess, but just wanted you to see me. Off to the first official wedding activity. Bye. Whoo. you right here. Ooh. Okay, all right. Ooh. Girl, what a day. I actually don't even have time to play around. My house is a mess and it will not not be a mess until after Sunday. Sunday is the big day, the wedding. I'm taking off all my jewelry. Just took off my rings. These beautiful bangles were a gift from the bride and her family. I'm obsessed 
with the bangles. I don't even want to take them off. I'm going to take them off. I'm going to have to buy something to hold these up. I had a great time. The most amazing food. It was just a great, great day. Um, so I got to be up. See, I don't want to hear all that. I got to talk to my Lisa office because I just recently learned that what's above me is an Airbnb. And that just, that, that makes me feel really restless because when I hear noise, even if I go and complain tomorrow about the noise to my leasing office, what are they gonna do? The people would have already left. You know what I'm saying? Or like, it's, it's just like, it's just not the same as if this was like a resident and and they were more mindful. These are people who are here, here today and gone to my hall. Um, so there's just like a lot of jumping around and I hate noise i hate hearing noise from neighbors like it literally makes me uneasy it, it gives me ptsd and i know y'all think i can be i know you ain't talking all that noise you be making you can't hear people like i can't hear anyone talking or singing anything like that it's the stomping it's the stomping and i think they like put carpet on that unit and so i can hear every step because i'm just like why can i hear steps my floors are cement so i don't know why i'm hearing those steps like that I i'm gonna figure it out though i'll tell you that much i will figure it out but this weekend in particular it's a lot of yeah this week in particular there's gonna be a lot of noise i'm sure because it's homecoming weekend it's halloween weekend and there's a big music festival. And there are so many big artists. Undoing the day. Oh, also check out this ponytail I put on. This is a drawstring ponytail that I was getting complimented on. Nobody clocked my tea. I, I told everybody else my business and didn't need to. People did not even know. But yeah, I'm like, okay, drawstring ponytail for the win, baby. And the color, this might be a 1B, but I prefer the color two for my hair. Cause my hair is not just, it's more brown than black. It's dark brown, but it's definitely not just like a black. <sighs> Back to being a ball, it is Calloway. Nice. So I might be wearing her again tomorrow on the lowest of keys. She might get worn tomorrow. So yes, this is a shake and go um, drawstring ponytail. And it came looking more like these curls at the bottom. But see how that's kind of giving like jerry curl and like it looks wiggy. So I just started going like this. So then it can look more like my natural hair. And so a lot of people thought this was my natural hair. But woo, when I tell you mama is tired. Truly, truly tired. <sighs> I need some time just to scroll. Bye. <laughs> Looking crazy. And I know that bitch. But I wanted to show y'all how I'm about to get this wedding hair together. So I've already slicked back my hair into a ponytail. As slick as it can be, child. Like, I'm trying my damn best, okay? I use the pattern edge control to, like, give me a little bit of slickness. And then I use the Chi hairspray on top of that. Um, and I sprayed my hair down with water before I started. Now I put my hair in two twists and I'm just gonna create a little braid up here. I mean, a little bun, what am I saying? A little bun and I'm just gonna put this right there like that. Okay, boom. This is the bun or this is the ponytail, drawstring ponytail I'm gonna use to make a bun with. So what I'm gonna do, just so then it's not looking too like drawstring ponytail-ish, is just kind of like brush out where the root is so it really looks like it's coming from my hair. So the root being where the net and drawstring and clip is, I'm gonna comb through that a little bit so then we can get a little texture. A little bit of frizz, a little bit of something that looks like this is my ponytail. All right, let's get this ponytail on. Don't cause me no problems, thank you. I love you, thank you. And stay on all night, girl. Don't you guys see, be a good girl. Comb in the front. We've got our comb in the back. Drawstring, do your thing. There she go, there she go. I'm stringing her as tight as I can. Let's put you back. 
Okay, we started somewhere, we started somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna take this drawstring and I'm going to tuck it. Okay, cause I'm gonna also bobby pin this bun to my head. These bobby pins, you wanna get the ones that are open a little bit. Like, I'll show you these kinds. The ones that have an opening. Yeah, see, I already feel that drawstring. Let me get your ass tucked. I'm taking the hair. I'm making a big ball. I'll just actually do it like that. I'm trying to think how I want this bun to go. This is when we get to play with shapes. So do we want the bow type bun where it looks like a bow, like Minnie Mouse? Do we want more of like just like a big ball, big ball type bun? I think probably bow style. I'm just gonna have to do a lot of pinning. <sighs> it's a workout. So let me just figure out the shape of this. I'm really just gonna figure it out. We won't give up. <laughs> we won't give up. Now, are you okay with this? No, I'm not. Let's just start pinning. And then I have like fashion pins that have like pearls and diamonds off the end. I'm trying to do something with these edges. And this edge control is a little too controlling. It's like you better like how they look when you put the edge control on. Cause once it's on, that's it. I'm about to get pissed off in 2.5. I'm about to get pissed off in 2.5. And this bun's starting to look ugly. This bun's starting to look ugly. Because it's drooping. Now it looks stupid. Like, it's falling. I just got these off Amazon. My wedding jewelry that I ordered on Amazon never showed up. They talking about they not gonna get here till Monday. I'm like, bitch, that don't fucking work. I'm gonna have to return that. I'm gonna spray this. It looks good in person. I don't know what that camera talking about. Okay guys, this is where I'm leaving off with my hair. It doesn't look bad, it's just not how I imagined it. So I just have to prop it up. It'll sit for a second, we get some picks in, and then it falls eventually. But not bad, just not exactly how I imagined it. But for me to have done this and not be a professional, not that it requires a professional to do something like this, but I feel like I did a pretty good damn job. Um, okay, I have to go. All right, so yeah, I am off to my sister's wedding, and I'll see y'all later. Okay, chill I have a lot of small errands to run. I have things I need to return, which I'll probably do tomorrow. Things I need to return today, I need to go to the grocery store. One thing about me, I do not like to not have like basics, bread, eggs, stuff like that. Like I still have stuff that I can make, like salmon and like some sides, but I like to have basics and I have no basics. Well, let me, I, so I'm gonna do a good grocery shop. Thinking about inviting some friends over and making some spaghetti. What else is going on? That's really all that's going on. Yo, something's in the air, I feel like I keep meeting guys specifically that are like fishing for compliments, like say stuff for you to say something back. And it's just like, ew, what is this season of guys that just like say stuff because they want you to validate them? When I tell you, I, I stop talking. I'm not about to acknowledge none of that. I'm not, I like to give com compliments naturally and I'm a very complimentary person. Like all the time. So when someone feels like they have to fish for a compliment, it's just like, ew, what more do you fucking want? You know, like what's really going on with you? Also, I need to go to Sephora because they have the Sephora sale going on. And I think it ends at the end of this week. So I need to do that. Cause I need to re-up on my lip gloss. This is my favorite lip gloss from Fenty. It's the Fenty Heat lip gloss in the shade Fenty Glow Heat. What else do I need from Sephora? I'm not putting on no makeup. And it's cold outside. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna head out of here and I'll see y'all when I get back. Bye. Just came back from Whole Foods. Here's what I got. A banana. Because one, I like bananas. And two, I like bananas for one of my favorite white people snacks, which is banana on top of like almond butter toast. Too good. I am going to make spaghetti for my friend. 
Spaghetti is one of my go-to meals. Love spaghetti down. Personally love my spaghetti. So I was like, you know what? Let me cook for my friends real quick. I'm trying a different beef. This is the ground beef from Whole Foods. Normally I get, well lately I've been getting the ground beef from Trader Joe's, which I really like. So hopefully this is good. I'm gonna buy the Trader Joe's beef too. No, that's stupid. That's doing too much. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just eat this. Just knock it off, it'll be fine. You know when you're making something like that you normally make but you're using new stuff and it's like, this is gonna be the one time it don't turn out right because I wanna use new shit, but hopefully that doesn't happen. This is my preferred spaghetti. I love this spaghetti because it's thicker. It's a thicker spaghetti and it just, it does taste homemade. Like it says homemade on it and it does taste like somebody grandma rolled that or strung it out, whatever they be doing. And then I have some basic Parmesan cheese and I'm trying a new, this one it gets real risky. I'm using a new sauce. This is from Carbone and I always get tomato basil because that's how I like my spaghetti to taste. I like that tomato um, sweet type vibe to it. So we're doing that. For dessert after our meal, I have these Hello. I have these little individual vanilla ice creams. These little vanilla bean briars. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, is it vanilla bean? Yeah, it just says vanilla. Is that why these taste different? Whatever, these are the little briars individual ice creams. I think there is a difference. Like this is an older one, and this one says natural vanilla. Interesting. Cause I actually didn't like the ones that just say vanilla. I thought they tasted funny. Anyway, I got those and we can crunch up some fudge mint cookies to go with it or eat it with a warmed up brown butter cookie from Whole Foods. Both would be delicious. I got my favorite chips from Whole Foods, the spicy green chili. I got some beef bacon. The goal for next year is to beef up. You know what I'm saying? To gain some good healthy weight. So I'm buying all the things. I need to add that to my list. Basil. Fresh basil. I got my eggs. I got my favorite juice from Whole Foods, which is the Urban Green. Can you see it? Urban Green green juice. Yummy. I haven't eaten yet, so I'm actually gonna fry up some of these eggs before I go out for more shopping. So, fun fact, when I'm buying eggs, I open up the cartridge and when I see pale eggs in here or eggs that have a whole bunch of like pale eggs with purple spots, I'll open up another cart and switch them out for darker eggs. I feel like darker eggs taste better. Like, yeah, the browner they are, the better they taste. You should also just carry this method in life as well, okay? Darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. I don't think that's made up. So, yeah. I know people be looking at me. Like, if you're gonna do that, please know that people will look at you like you're stealing. Cause it happens to me all the time. And I just be prepared for somebody to be like, for um somebody who works there to be like, um, excuse me, miss, you can't do that. And I'd be like, why can't I? Cause I'm not like switching it out of a different type of egg, egg company. It's the same company. I'm just switching the cartons out, switching certain eggs out. So what's up? I don't like I don't like how that egg look. So you see all of these. This is how I like my eggs to look like this. And I would love for them to all be like darker like this. But this is not bad. This is good. Trust me, they taste different. I feel like those lighter ones are like older eggs. I don't know. Okay. See, I'm just gonna eat a little scrambled egg mix, and I'll see y'all when I get back from the next grocery store. You want to know one of the things with my skincare I'm being more cognizant of? It's making sure that I am cleansing my skin for at least 60 seconds before rinsing it off. Because me, normally, I'll do this until I see suds and I feel like I've touched all parts of my skin and then I'll rinse it. But really, you want to like keep massaging it for a cool 60 seconds and a light massage too. The lighter the, lighter the massage, the better. That actually will make you get more suds. This is not really a sudsy batch because I don't, my face isn't that wet. This is also my first wash of the day and my skin. Um, you know, people be like, sometimes I don't wash in the morning. Like, I won't wash my skin, I'll just rinse it with water. I wash my face because I'm acne prone. And honestly, I've tried that method um, of like, just wetting my face or like spraying a hyaluronic acid and reapplying moisture in the morning instead of like washing my face. And sometimes I'm okay, but most times my skin doesn't like that. My skin likes to be washed in the morning. Um, also keep in mind like at night, I use a very thick moisturizer that has beeswax in it. And I just feel like 
that needs to be washed off after eight hours. Fabulous. Okay. My moisturizer, my day moisturizer is my tried and true. Can you see that? Skin glass. Perfect up under makeup. Perfect up under a sunscreen. It's just good. Fragrance free. I think it has niacinamide. I don't know. Jojoba, vitamin A, and B5. That's what you're gonna find in this. I'm gonna just put this all over. Fabulous. Okay. Okay, so I'm using a different Innisfree um, sunscreen. I'm using this one. And it's because I bought it from Sephora and I'm gonna check and see if this one that I've been using came from a certified seller on Amazon or if I've just been using some bullshit on my face. Let's see right now. Cause unless it came from the brand itself, yeah, I've, just, I'm, I've just been using anything because the thing, the reason why I'm saying that is because unless it comes from a certified, like this brand, Innisfree, which this says, this doesn't even say Innisfree, this says Is Tree. This brand is Is Tree. This isn't the same. Innisfree is not the same as Is Tree. Is Tree is a Korean brand. Let's see if they have their own. Oh, they do. Oh, okay. Hold on, maybe I'm okay. But well, who's the seller? Oh, it is sold by the official store. Okay, I'm not sure. Never mind. Forget everything I said. Forget everything I said. I'm actually not gonna use this because this only has an SPF of 36 and this has an SPF of 50. So I will be using this. And it's a UVA, UVB. I don't know what that means. But yeah, this is what I will be using. Okay, so you're all out. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start letting my hair dry where it goes like this instead of doing a middle part because I'm trying to get rid of that godforsaken permanent middle part. <sighs> nice. Y'all please stop playing with your skin and use sunscreen. I feel like at this point we're all hearing that so you know the importance of it. Use your sunscreen. It don't matter what complexion you are, you need sunscreen. You may not be able to see the sun damage that's happening, but it is happening. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Then I just take a little bit of this Elta MD. I don't know why I choose to put this on my neck as opposed to just using the same sunscreen on my neck, but I guess I just feel like since I have more of the Elta MD, it's like I'll use this for my big body parts. It's all over the neck, because all the protection you do to your face, you have to do to your neck. Otherwise, you're gonna be looking like smooth face, wrinkle neck, and we don't want that. Okay, my hair is freshly washed, and my scalp is pretty much dry now, so I'm gonna put on this Mayel Rosemary Scalp Oil to give her a little bit of, specifically in the areas where my scalp be dry, and that's right at the nape of my neck right there. I don't know why that area tends to be so dry. <laughs> I'm coming back from Trader Joe's, and I'm actually starving. I have not eaten today, and we need to eat something, because I still have to do a little bit of grocery shopping before the day's done. Woo! So, I got some flowers that I think would look nice with my current arrangement. I'm gonna stick a few of those in there, and just make it look pretty and cute. Woo, that was tiring. These bags are heavy. All right, so we got some arugula, some cucumber, some watermelon, the sour cream spinach dip that I tell you all about from Trader Joe's. I got this pumpkin bisque that I wanted to try because I really loved the other soup and they were actually all out of the other soup I've been buying. But that's okay because, that's okay because I actually, um, I still have one more of the soup that I like, the aut autumnal soup. Um, I bought the tomato basil pasta sauce just in case I don't like that carbone sauce. Um, because I'm cooking for other people, I don't want it to be one of those situations where all of a sudden um, the food tastes different because I use new shit. So, we gonna see. Um, I got some onion powder because at Kroger I can only find this onion powder, like super generic onion powder. So I'm gonna be using this and this is just an extra backup to have. I wanted to try these kettle cooked potato chips. So I got these. The bread that I normally buy 
um i think it's called like organic multi-seed bread it's purple well the bread's not purple but the wrapping's purple um it was gonna go bad like in three days they hadn't restocked this is also gonna go bad in three days but i just wanted to try it this is the super bread organic super bread with pumpkin seeds flax seeds sunflower seeds carrots dried apples and sesame seeds so i'm gonna put this in the refrigerator actually because i feel like also organic dry banana. Wow. So I'll put this in the refrigerator. That should make it last a little longer. Um, I got some ciabatta bread. So then we can eat this with the pasta tonight. Got some basil. Got more Parmesan because I Parmesan. I got miso ginger broth. Never had this, but I wanted to try it to eat. You know, when I make those chicken wontons, I cook it with like one of these, which is a bone broth. Um, and bone broth is really good for you. But I really wanted to try the miso ginger, so I got that. I have tons and tons of soups in here, now that I'm looking, like tons and tons. I have some candied pecans, some cranberries. Ooh, cranberries, my mouth is watering because I'm hungry. And cranberries and some whole cashews, some roasted unsalted cashews. I got the pecans and the cranberries for my salad. Cause I'm making a salad tonight for them too. I got some more of these great northern beans and then I also got these Greek uh, chickpea parsley and cumin beads, which I've, I've eaten these before. Alrighty then, that's everything. Woo! Boy oh boy. I need to get green and red peppers and parsley. Fabulous. All right, let me eat something before I pass out. <laughs> Pretty. Big Mama's in here, and we is cooking us on We got some bacon on the side. We got some bacon on the side. Hey, let's flip this bacon. Oh Jesus, come on now, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up. Getting kind of scared. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna take a little bit of this agave. After I flip it once, I put agave on it. This is beef bacon from, goddamn, um, beef bacon from Whole Foods. Sorry, I'm also watching House of the Potomac, and yeah. You're great. You're a bad girl. How do you stay silent? I was waiting for Karen to bring it up. What, bitch? I knew you were always seen you right now, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it was a It wasn't that damn funny. <laughs> Thin slice of our cheese. Right. That we lay on top of our bread mode. Do not care. So just my little two cents on what's going on on Real Housewives of Potomac already. Robin really, oh, it's so interesting. I actually feel sorry for her. Oops. I feel sorry for her because you could really tell she's in denial and really in that game of like, I have to keep this up because I've already been saying that I believe him. So now I just have to save face because for her, at this point, I think it's more of a pride and ego thing with the women who are in her circle on this television show and also with people who are watching her, you know, in the world. I think she just doesn't want to feel more stupid than she already is. And hearing Juan Dixon talk is just like, you might be fooling her, but you ain't fooling me, ho. You know, like, I just want to tell him that, like, knock it off right now. You need to knock it off because he really does think that he's pulling a fast one. Using some arugula, just a bit of arugula on this. Cut up a few cherry tomatoes and also put them on here. But yeah, it's just like, he. I, I hope you don't think he's fooling us. Like, this is working on Robin for whatever reason, but, and I don't even think it's working on Robin. I think Robin, again, is just choosing to believe that this is 
the truth. The truth being that, oh, this random girl hit him up on Instagram and told him that she was coming up to see a Ravens football player and she can't pay for her room bill. Well, first of all, what is your husband doing responding to a random DM from a girl who can't pay her room bill? Why would he be in conversation with that person? She was like, yeah, the stupid thing is that he was even talking to her. That's the stupid thing. No, the stupid thing is that he went to the hotel and paid for this room bill when y'all have been dealing with money issues for years. Their whole storyline at one point was about them being bankrupt and not having no bread. So you telling me your husband went and paid for some random girl's uh, hotel room, okay? It's just like, Robin, give it up, girl. So that's number one. Number two, so I'm really like paying attention to how he's talking. I'm taking some parsley and putting it on here too. But, so he's saying, you know, I'm just too nice. I'm, I'm just too nice. Trying to victimize himself. Trying to, trying to turn the situation into he's just this nice guy who did this nice thing. And, and look at what the world's turning it into. Look, look at how this girl took advantage of him and posted the picture of the receipt. He's just too nice. Bitch, please. Ron Dixon is barely nice to your ass, Robin. How the fuck he's so nice to a stranger that DM'd him? What, what is, what? It's just like, Robin, I know you don't believe this. I know you don't. I know you don't, girl. You can't fool me, sister. You just can't fool me. You trying to, you trying to keep this up because you don't want to have to look Karen in her face. She don't want to deal with the I told you so. But it's like, girl, those gonna come regardless because the truth always come out. This is not gonna be the last time a girl decides to expose your man, period. I'm gonna put a little bit of this agave on top of this bacon. And I'll show you the sandwich before I close it up. Okay, here it is, open-faced. I'm gonna close it. I did toast my bread a little. Mmm. No, no, mmm. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Can you see that good? Whatever. Then, I like how um, they basically tried to have like an intervention with Robin and was like, listen, you need to know that we're here for you and we support you in whatever decision you make, but it's looking crazy. You know what I'm saying? And Robin is just doing the denial thing. The like, you know, repeating the shit her man is saying. And it almost feels like a cry for help. Like she keeps saying like, what do you want me to do? Like, what do you want me to do? Leave him? Like, what do you want me to do? And it's like, you could, you could leave him. Yeah. What does that look like if you left him? Yeah, let's, let's, let's discuss that further. You leaving him, you know, like, why stay? And I love how they brought up like how their issues have been because of him. Like them constantly being in the news and Robin was like, the world's against us. Bitch, the world doesn't give a fuck about you and Juan Dixon. The world just sees blatant foolery going on and you acting like you don't see it. So they're gonna keep bringing that up. And um, you know, the girls were saying to her like, listen, you, hold on. This is the part I didn't see, so I wanna see it. Oh no, I saw this part. Yeah, she was like, they were saying to her like, listen, you, I think I'm gonna have to use a knife to eat this. They were trying to tell her like, y'all been in the news because of his issues, like his decisions, his poor decisions. So first it's the room bill thing, then, it's the, he's in the laundry room with his coworker. And it's like, that could be his coworker, but why are we acting like niggas don't be fucking their coworkers? And then this clown gonna say as they talking like, okay, yeah, so they saw me with a beautiful girl and that's why they think that we're having a beautiful. Why did you need to throw in what she looks like? Robin's like, yeah, yeah, cause like, and people say we look alike. Robin. Baby, come on back. Come on back, baby. Come on back, baby. You are lost in that damn sauce and you're drowning. So, yeah, Robin's just pulling at, you know, she's pulling at very fine, fine threads. And she really wants to be validated by this man and wants to be affirmed by this man. And she should be because that's her husband. He should be telling her, you know, she is so beautiful and she is the only person that he has eyes for. And he should be be openly apologizing to her um, on camera. And instead he's taking this role of just like, that was stupid, I shouldn't have done that. You know, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, but you know, you know, people are miserable. That's why they talking, because people are miserable. When men say stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? It's like, acknowledge your shit, because you made mistakes. 
place. Even if people are miserable and they're sharing it, they're sharing what you were doing. You were in a laundry room with your coworker, he he and ha ha as the shit is drying in the dry machine. And then the next week or however long it was in between, but very soon after, you were in the nail salon with a bitch. And this is my question. Cause she was like, that's his friend and he told me he was going. Robin, why would he be in a nail salon with a woman? You are a married man. Why is he at the nail salon with another woman? I just hit my, my camera cut off, but I just hate the stupidity. Like, girl, there would be no reason why my husband would need to be sitting shoulder to shoulder with another bitch in the nail salon. Like, friend or not, there are certain boundaries that are created when you get married. And even when you're in a relationship, it's just like, that doesn't make sense, girl. And especially while y'all have stuff going on, and this is what I loved about the little intervention, is that she was like, you know, I told him the block was hot, and she was like, what, what was he supposed to not go? And all the girls were like, yes! He was supposed to not go. So what, you, you know that's his friend, you normally would be okay with it, but in this particular moment in time, because y'all have so many eyes on y'all and it's causing you so much stress, he should have made the decision not to go. And that's their point, he's not thinking about you, girl. He ain't thinking about you. And Robin's not letting that click through her skull. It's really just like, I hate to see it. I don't even like Robin like that, but I still don't wanna see her like that. Mm, mm, mm. Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Mm, mm. Nothing else really happened on this episode. We got to see Giselle and her new boo and his braids. That's it. Yeah. This episode was really about Robin and Bush my face. And then just filler shit. Cause I don't give a fuck about Ashley and her new house. I just don't care. Robin taking the I don't care stance. I just feel like we're also seeing Maybe Robin kind of in pattern mode of like, this is how she's always, you know, been in her relationship with him. Just kind of like passively being there and dealing with infidel infidelity with him because he's cheated before and she's spoken about that openly. They've been divorced before. They decided to get remarried. And yeah, it's just, I pray I never get the stupid bug like that. Cause that is the stupid bug. I also hate when all common sense goes out the window. Now all of a sudden, her response to everything is, what do you want me to do? Like, so so, what do you want me to do? Like, what, what? Like, she turned into a little kid. It sounds like who she was in college. Like, she literally sounds like a little kid. And it's just like, Robin, knock it off, girl. You look crazy. You look crazy. And it's not helping nothing. Like, I don't believe in all that. We gotta stay together to raise these boys. Bitch, y'all, if it's not healthy, it's best to separate. Kids can feel that. And see ya. We are here to support you mm -hmm. as it relates to Juan. So, all right, let me, okay, let me, let me just explain some things. Okay, okay. Ashley, Brianna has worked on Juan's staff for over, for three years. So, that relationship is not new to me. Now, the long time reason I come out and say hi, I'm like, Juan, the block is hot. He's like, okay, whatever, like, am I supposed to just like, Yes, get you guys are going to stay back with, with the hotel. Like, but I'm, it's just, I don't know. Yes, why. he's not thinking, how is this going to affect Robin? All right, so what do you want me to say? Like, like, get mad at him and scream and throw a shoe at him? Oh my God, I can't believe you went to the dance salon with Brianna. Oh my God, how could you do that? Like, that, is that what you want me to do? He is not thinking about you. My joy has been stolen. By who? Because of all of this that is piled on nonstop, every other day is a headline. But there's one person at the center. What do you want me to do, Zoe? I don't, no, no, no. I just want you to be happy. I'm, I'm, this is the thing. The world wants to tear us apart. That's what right? Juan said to her. Now she has my joy has been taken, but it's not Juan's fault. I, it's classic. Classic. It's classic. It's classic. She is delusional. And it's that willful delusion of just like, you know, in your gut that everything is not as clean and as pure as you're letting on. You know that there's more to these stories. Her whole outlook of like, you know, if he was gonna lie, he would have came up with a better lie. It's like, babe, babe, this does sound like a crazy lie. You know what I'm saying? She was like, he, he wouldn't have come up with that story. He would have come up with something better than that. What else could he say as to why he signed a receipt at this hotel with this woman? What what other lie would he have come up with? You know what I'm saying? Like, 
There is no better lie. There's just a lie. Where did he tell you he was when he was doing that? Where did you think he was when he was doing that? Like, there's more to this story. It's just like, you know. You know that you have dealt with infidelity with this person before, and I'm sure you would like to believe that you're not dealing with it again, but girl, it's all there. It's all there. And the way she says it is that Juan was at the nail salon, and the girl who he works with was gonna stop by, but it's like, why would anybody be stopping by to see you at the nail salon? Especially another bitch, especially a bitch you work with. Boy, just keep beating me up. Do you feel like we have your back? Cause, cause we're That's another point. All of her friends right now, Robin, Ashley, and Sharice, have all been cheated on. And they all stayed at some point. It's like, these are your friends who are letting you know, like, we see you. And I feel we are different people, but I just only knew for this many years now, like,